screaming about this afternoon. What is it? May a mother have divided you there into two, you porcupine. What is this blessing and this death doing right here in my compound? Eh? My, is that why you are disturbing me? Ask your brother and his wife. They are the ones who are always possessing that one guy, not me. Amelia! Amelia! What is this rubbish in my compound? What nonsense is this in my compound? Eh? Dear, I'm sorry. But I just went inside to see what I put on the fire. I have not finished. I'm still going to... Let me tell you. I don't care what or where you want to take it to. I've warned you and your husband to stop turning this compound into a big style. But you'll not listen. Next time it happens, I want to listen this is a way. But I will maim you to death and send you to rot in hell. Dear Nana, you may kill me and I will die. But rather than rot in hell, I will be buried in heaven. Okay. You. You. They are about to start the second time exams. Miss Ivaristo, there is nothing else I can do. I gave permission for her to stay on and take the first time exams, hoping that before the beginning of this term, you would have cleared the fees. Now you owe fees for two terms. How do you want me to help you again? Mr. Principal, if I had the money, I would have paid right away. But I don't have the money. Please help me. Let us stay. Please. That is the problem. You don't have the money. And nobody knows when you will have it. What if the school management board decides to come and check our records? How do I explain to them that a student owes for two terms? I've been waiting for you. I want to see you. Uh, tell your mother I'm with your uncle. Come here. You said you wanted to see me. Yes. How much would you know what is happening in this compound when you don't stay at home? I don't understand. Okay. I've called you before and warned you and your wife not to litter this compound and turn it into a, a refuse dump. But you won't listen. I came in this afternoon to find the whole place littered with cassava peelings. Evaristus, we are human beings and not animals. Let's not live like pigs. Uh, but they, I did not see any cassava peelings on my way. Yes, because I came in and cleaned the whole place after shouting like a demented baboon. Oh, then, Nana. You know that it is this processing of cassava that I only can eye before leaving. Eh? Where else do you want us to go and do the processing? That I do not care for. Next time, please, don't allow this to happen. Don't allow it to happen. Wait, 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 Nana. Wait. Don't you think I should have a say in how things are done in this compound? Eh? We have not brought our cassava into your own house. We have always done the peeling in front of my own house. And I don't see how this affects the cleanliness of our own compound. Ah. Now, did I not tell you? Did I not tell you that he would try to insult you? Now you have seen things for yourself. My mouth smells, doesn't it? Get up, get Chica. Chica, nobody called you into this. Eh? Do not come here and stir up trouble. Stir up trouble? I told you. Me, Chica, stay up trouble. <laughs> You've not seen trouble, though. You will know what trouble is if you don't go and look for a decent thing to do instead of falling in the mud like a pig, you poverty ridden cockroach. I've warned you. I've warned you. Next time it happens, I won't find it easy with you. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. I 
Said that your brother called you. What was the problem? Yes, he called me. People have food in the house. I'm hungry. Don't be ready. But you have not said anything. What do you want me to say? Eh? What do you want me to say that I've not said before? That Nana, my brother, called me this evening to insult me for the simple reason that I'm trying to make a living. Is that what you want me to say? He told me this evening that I was turning his compound into a big house. Oh, he told you that? That was the same thing he told me. In fact, he said I should never, ever possess cassava in this company again. That was what my own brother, Nana, told me. Me, I don't know what you think. But I think this whole thing has gone on long enough. If we continue keeping quiet, we'll wake up one morning to find out that your brother has thrown us out of this company. Oh, Let me tell you. Nana can rave and rant if he wants. It did not start today. And it will not end tomorrow. If you do not know, Nana is not my immediate problem. He is not. Chizoba's principal has said that Chizoba will not sit for her exams if she does not pay the two times school fees she's owing. That is my problem. I want it. How much money is it, you know? It's 5,000 naira. And they're supposed to be starting their exams on Monday. Ha! God. Where are we going to get all this money from by Monday? Do you know, I was even thinking of asking Nana to lend me that money. But judging from the way he behaved this evening, even if somebody drops dead in this family, he will not bring out a kobo. A penny he will not bring out. Thank you, Mama. Bye, thank you. Me, Evaristus. Eh? Evaristus, my own daughter, drop out of school because of school fees. No, it won't happen. I will find that money. If that is the last thing, I will find that money. What about the food? Don't worry. Please, I will eat later. Just let me be. I'm sorry, I have no money to lend you, Evaristus. But these days, my business at home shall not be yielding enough profit. In fact, I'm trying to change to a new line of business. Uh, uh, please, I uh, accept my widow's mind. I wish I had more. Eh? Okay. Uh, please, my, my regards to your family, Lonicha. Eh? Okay. Thank you. I don't want that brilliant daughter of yours to be thrown out of school. At least this will go a long way. 
Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. God will bless you. And then, yeah. But wait, though. I want to ask you a question. Mm. Are you quarreling with him, man? Nah? No. I'm not quarreling with him. And I don't have any reason to quarrel with him. Forgive me, oh. I'm only wondering why you go about begging for money when your brother is in position to help. My brother Mel, if I didn't have a brother, it would have been better for me. Nana treats me as if I'm a slave father bought with money. Since father died, then Nana has taken over all the land and properties father left behind. Sold them all off and put the money in his pocket. And you keep quiet, allowing your family to die of hunger and starvation. Who do I go to complain to? The community, elders of whom we You have a family too. You are entitled to a chance in life too. If you don't speak out, you would bury your whole family. Melo, I know. But life is more than material possessions. If they Nana has decided to take over all the of his father left behind, let him go ahead. But it will never be heard that Evaristus and his brother fought over Pops. Never. When it is God's time, he will give me my own riches. I know that. Well, if you think so, I just feel that you should not allow yourself to be so oppressed and pulled down. Those who keep silent die in their silence. Hmm? I have you. Let me be going. All I know is that uh, what has a beginning must have an end too. Thank you for the money you gave me. Huh? Thank you. I will pay you back. Huh? Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Mm -hmm. oh. uh -huh. That reminds me. Bill mm -hmm. uh, is looking for who will assist him harvest his oil plant. Mm -hmm. You know, since they gave him a bonum, he does not stand up again. And his sons in Lagos sent him some money for the purpose of harvesting the oil palm. I suggest you take up the job, because it will help you to complete your daughter's school fees. So I have heard. Let me go. Huh? about being responsible. Huh? You know how much labor it took my wife to clean this floor this morning? Huh? You just walked in carrying the whole mud from Umwebe into my living room. If I give you a bucket and rag now to clean it, will you? Huh? Then I'm sorry. But you see, I'm a full grown man. There's no way I would intentionally bring in mud into your house. It is not possible. Hey! Huh? Oh, this is, I'm sorry, Dave. Let me... Stop that thing! What is it you wanted to see me for? Huh? It's about chase of our school fees. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Talk, I don't have the, I don't have the whole deal. Talk, be quick. Um, hey, Nana. We did not pay her last time's school fees. And still have not paid that off. This time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I, I went to see the principal to, to plead with him. You know, so you can allow her, you know, stay in school. 
But he said no, that he will not allow her seat for her exams, you know, if I do not pay the two terms. Oh, Rula, make the point. Make the point. He is actually threatening to throw her out of school if I do not pay the school fees. So I came to see if you can uh, l l lend me some money. I will pay you back next week. How much are we talking about? Um, the actual amount is uh, 5,000 Naira. But I've been able to raise 3,000 Naira. Uh, uh, it is the balance of uh, 2,000 Naira that I beg of you. You see, then, Nana, if not for the suddenness, I would have raised this money. Evaristus, a fool you are. A fool you've been before. And a fool you will forever be. We're talking about two terms. You are owing a term before now, a new one on top of it. And you're saying it's in suddenness. Evaristus, when you put your daughter into school, or didn't the court you will pay her school fees? Eh? Huh? Then, Nana, you see, nobody prays for a thing like this. Please, yeah. Shut up, my friend. Look, I don't have the money. Even if I have, I won't give you. Then, Nana, then, Nana, please. Then, Nana, please, eh? If they throw cheese up out of school, it will be difficult for me to get her back in there. I don't even mind. I, I will pay you back with interest. With what? Interest, interest please. You see why I say you will always be a fool, Evaristus. You can't feed your family, you can't take care of them, you can't even pay your daughter's school fees. And here you're talking about paying back with interest. Do you think you're smart? You think you're smart? Now get out of my house. Please. Get out! Please. 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 Yes, Your mother has started teaching you to disrespect elders. Is that it? Eh? You no longer know how to greet people. Okuya? Francis, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were here. Shut your dirty mouth up. Eh? And may God punish you too. So, I am now so small that you, a church rat, will not recognize me when I'm passing. Doing. Eh? Is that how to sweep your father's compound? This morning, <laughs> God punish you. Then, will you shut that your dirty mouth up? Eh? So you are the one teaching her to perpetrate wickedness in this compound. What wickedness will a child perpetrate? Eh? What is this now? Eh? Look at it. Is there any land demarcating this compound? That this your useless lay about daughter. We 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 sweep that from one side of the compound to the other, so that who will sweep it for her? Eh? Is that not wickedness of the soul? Chica, you can do any other thing, but I'd rather you do not insult my daughter this morning. God punish you. God punish you 20 times a day. Huh? If it is for you and your useless so-called husband to come and beg for money, you will be quick to do so. But to respect those who feed you, you cannot. Don't worry. Very soon, I will deal with all of you in this compound. Chica, I will do it, and you will see it with your eyes. Oh! Maybe you can tell me what it is that we did to you, that you are treating us like this, eh? Okay. 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 Mere, mere ga, 
gade no bodu me be ne ba o ka miri gade miri gade miri miri gade no bodu me be ne ba o ku do gade u me be u me be gade no bodu me be ne ba o ka yi ke bi ka yi ke bi u me be u me be gade ne ba ka le lo je ne ba o ka yi ke bi o mo yi tu ko nu I know the village has sent you to collect a levy of a thousand naira for the pipe bomb water project, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay. that's it. But men like me, Nana, cannot come down to the same level with everybody. <laughs> we know. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, I'm uh, uh, we, <laughs> so I am going to give you a sum of five thousand naira. <laughs> And I'll be ready to give you more if the work progresses. Hey! You're welcome. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Evaristus. Uh, come, 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 come. You should be here. Should uh, be here. What is it? Uh, these are young men sent by the village to collect the sum of um, 1,000 naira as levy for the pipe bomb water project. Uh -huh. Yes. Hey, Evaristus, good evening, sir. Uh -huh, good evening. Can we have the money now? Well, I don't have money for now. Avaricious, when are you going to be open-handed? When will you stop being tight-fisted? This, your attitude, does not befit somebody who is Nana's brother mm -hmm. at all. Then, Nana, it was you I ran to to ask for Chizoba school fees. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. If I had the money, I wouldn't have come to you. And I still do not have the money. Neither do I have money to give to these people for their, is it water pipe or pipe bone water uh, levy? My family and I have been managing going to the stream to fetch water. And if uh, continuing to go to the stream to fetch water for the next five years is what we will do. It is okay with us. <laughs> eh? Please, I don't have that money. Dave Arrestus, you won't understand. You were at the meeting the other day when the, the decision was taken. We have been mandated to collect this money from you. Or even seize any valuable property from your house until you pay the money. Yes. yes. Mm. Hey, when are you going to stop being a disgrace to this family? Uh -uh. How much are they asking for that you cannot pay? Ordinary 1,000 naira. I gave them 5,000 naira just now. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, yes. It won't speak well for our family if I am the only person open handed. No. Well, uh, since you have the money and you have given them 5,000 naira, you can as well uh, give them my own 1,000 naira. When I have money, I will pay you back. Deva, huh? my friend, what is wrong with you? Is something wrong with your head? Don't touch me again. Um, well, leave him, come. Leave him. Just come. There's a sewing machine in his room, as well as cassava grating machine. Eh? Go straight now and pick them. Okay. So people will not say we cannot pay the levy. Okay. Go straight away. Okay, sir. Iwe, 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 So them Iwe, Iwe, So them Iwe, So them Iwe. Then, Nana, I want you to understand something. That God pays back those who oppresses his children. I know. I know. And he's up there watching. I am aware.
I want it. What is it? I want it, Kat. Is anything troubling you? No. Manage. Today is such a day. If we don't find the rest of the money today, that means that all the money that we have spent on Jesus by schooling will go in vain. Also, there is not even one strip of apache left in this house to eat. And now they have seized my sewing machine. How are we going to make any money? It is all right. It's okay. I was with Dechima yesterday. He's been looking for who to harvest his oil palm. And I agreed to do it. At least the money they will pay me will be enough to settle everything. Carry us on until things improve. Don't worry. God will see us through. I keep hearing that the various Jews, eh? I keep hearing that. But why does he keep quiet that people like your brother prosper? My brother is a human being too. And God looks after every human being. He should do something about us first. Before hunger and starvation kills us all. I told you not to worry. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. First thing in the morning, I'll go and start harvesting the oil palms. Okay? But you have never done that before. Eh? How are you going to manage? Don't worry. Like every other young man in this village, we all did it when we were much younger. You know what you learn, do not ever forget. Alright. It's okay. Come on. Let's go. Stop crying, huh? You're already up this morning fetching water. Yes, Papa. Yeah, but it is cold. Why didn't you wait for the sun to come out before going to fetch water? I had to go earlier, Papa, so I can accompany Mama to go and read Diagnosis Farm. Oh, I see. I hope you won't catch cold, though. Yes, Papa. Uh -huh. uh, I, to go. I have to go now. Mm -hmm. You know, the earlier I start, the quicker I'll finish. Mm -hmm. Be careful, though. You know it has been raining. Angulika. You know your husband is always careful. Mm -hmm. eh? Take care of the house. Eh? Let me go. Do well, oh. What do you want to hear from my mouth? If I speak now, they will say my mouth smells. But is it not your brother's wife I saw preparing to go to the farm? Which farm? I should ask you. I thought you had burned them from entering any of those farmlands. Oh, yes. I have. Then you have to go over and find out before they, in their greed, consume all the cassava from those farmlands. Evaristus and his wife, they are looking for my trouble. And I'm going to give them a basket full. Yeah, Chisoba, hurry 
we are going to be late. Mm -hmm. I've warned you before, haven't I? But what you want to see is my bad side, mm -hmm. and that's what you're going to see. Then, Nana, what is the matter? Hey! You can talk to your husband anyhow you like. But if you open that rotten gutter you call about and talk to my husband anyhow, I will show you that I am not a woman to be played with. I warned you and said I don't want to see your feet on any of those farms again. Ha! The one I gave your husband is the one that belongs to him. If he has finished farming on it, that's his concern. If I see any of you on any of those farms again, then I'm going to lock you up for the rest of your miserable lives. Ha! That is why you and your wife decided to come and beat me up this morning. For the simple fact that you think we are going to your farms. Hey, my God will pay you back. Mark my words this day. My God will pay you back. One more word from you, Angoleka. One more word from you and they will begin to search for you. You can do that which you want to do. But if it interests you to know, my daughter and I are going to help Agnes with her farm. You can take your farm and eat them. Let them settle well in your stomach. Oh, God. Come, cheese over. Cheese over, hurry up with that young. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hurry up. Yeah. Mama, this young will be very strong. Well done, oh. Oh, Agnes. What brings you here? I just come to say hi. I will. Come, let me see you. That is like this. Your husband fell down from a palm tree. for this family. What do I do now? Melo, tell me what to do. Hey! Hey! If I wish to. You see? You see it? When I talk, you won't listen. And that's the one that kills me. Huh? Why should he go and have a soy palm tree? Why? Eh? If he needed money, he should have told me. At least I have enough to take care of him and my family. Eh? Look at the trouble now. Look at the burden he has placed on the shoulders of that woman and her daughter. Look at it now. How can that woman carry the situation? How? Evaristus. Evaristus. Eh? Hey! <laughs> All right, all right. They just carried him in. Eh? He fell off one of those oil palm trees he stupidly went to harvest today. But at least he's alive. He is still alive. I told you to be careful, Tim. I told you that you do not know how to harvest oil farms. It was because there was no money in the house. That is why he went to harvest the oil farm. That is why my husband is like this. <laughs> it was because there was no money.
should take him to the hospital. No. Leave him there. Leave him there? Leave him there. If we leave him there, he will die. He is my brother, not yours. I know best how to handle his situation. He just broke a few bones. Just a few bones. And the best way to handle that is to invite a native medicine man. He will take care of it. Eh? You are saying take him to the hospital. Will he pay the bills? I'm asking you, will you pay the bills? Look, look, time is very important to me. What is it you want to say? If you can't say it on time, tell me, let me go and do the things I have to do. Dick, it is two days now since your brother fell down from that palm tree. Mm -hmm. He's lying there, not able to move again. Mm -hmm. If we don't take him to the hospital, he will die. What do you want me to do? I cannot take some of these decisions on my own. I am only but a woman. If we keep quiet about this, and my husband dies, people will ask questions. They will hold us responsible. Amaleka, we live our lives, not for the public. Mm -hmm. What is important is to do what is right. And what is right is that we should not waste our money running from hospital to hospital trying to save your husband's life. I don't understand you, Dave. That's the problem. That's the problem. You and your husband will never understand. Mm. If he had any understanding, he wouldn't have gone to climb a palm tree on a wet day. day. What has that got to do with saving his life? Have you taken a close look at your husband? Have you? He is not a man who has a chance to survive. Even if by some miracle he does survive, he will be paralyzed the rest of his life. So why waste my money trying to save a vegetable? Dave, right? you are talking about your brother. That he is my brother does not mean I should be foolish. <laughs> why should I be foolish? If I have any money that I can use to run around like a confused monkey, I should rather keep it to bury him. Bury him. Bury him. You're talking about a man who is still alive. <laughs> if I had any money of my own, I would take him to the hospital myself. All I am asking is that you lend us some money. And my husband recover. We will pay you back. Amoleka, the advice I give you is this. Since you're so interested in saving the life of your husband, Go wherever I want to go and borrow money. Mm. If he can survive, then come back and I will give you back the money you must have borrowed. Thank you. <laughs> God, Mother Lord, why is all this happening to me? Why? <laughs> it is only the things we saw that we reap. So stop shedding those cocoonite tears and face up the reality. <laughs> Hi, God. Dear Melo, what am I going to do? Did we do anything wrong? That God has turned a blind eye on us. No, He has not. God does not forsake any of His children. What did you say that? Nana said. He said he was not going to waste his money. Then I should go and borrow the money from somewhere else. And if Everisto survives, he will pay back the money. This is 3,000 Naira. Hold on to it. Tomorrow morning I will come out. Whether Nana likes it or not, we will take Evaristus to the hospital. Hmm? <laughs> <sighs> oh. 
Oh, Anole, stop crying. Stop crying. Everestus will, will leave, eh? Thank you, dear my love. I was thinking of reporting then uh, to the Council of Elders. No, no. That will only cost more acrimony. It will not bring out any money from his pocket, and he will even hurt you the more. It will not. But it might at least force him to release to us the lands that belong to my husband that he has been holding. If we sell one of those pieces of land, at least we can take Evaristus to the hospital without any fear. Uh, let's get Evaristus treated first. Whatever that happens next, we will find out later. Himself. Is this your face? The lion himself. <laughs> Why? Oh. The lion himself. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, wonderful. Good to see you. Oh. <laughs> hey. What brings you out of your lairs? I should be asking you that. Eh? This is my den. My area. Eh? I approach the whole place. It's my terrain. <laughs> Man. Uh, uh, uh. Wonderful. Hey. Um, <laughs> what am I hearing about you, brother? Ben, when you get out of one trouble, another finds you. It is unnecessary pride, my brother. Look at the Baristus, my brother. Instead of him coming to ask me for money, you want to harvest oil palm tree. <laughs> Can you imagine the Baristus climbing oil palm tree? Hi. Look at the result now. And I have spent a fortune trying to treat him. In fact, I had to go and bring in a specialist for that purpose. Uh -huh. He stays here day and night, and I spent for all that. Hey. Can you imagine that? Oh, 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 oh. That means he is at home now. Where else to be except in the village? Because over here, we don't have hospitals like you have in Lagos. That's true, my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, that still makes me wonder why you have refused to come back to Lagos. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ben, look, I'm a man of peace. That your Lagos is full of confusion and so troublesome for gentle souls like me. <laughs> <laughs> the lion himself. Ben, ben. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I will come to the house to see Eva. Okay. Eh? That will be wonderful. I, I, I must make out time for that. Oh, no, I'll go and wait for eh? you. Let me wait for okay. you. Okay. Eh? Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, ben. <laughs> At least eat something. <laughs> it is two days now that you have not eaten anything. <laughs> My husband, at least eat something now. Get some strength. Then Melu said that he will come tomorrow morning so that we can go to the hospital. to bother. Tell him. Tell him to save his money. My time. My time is too. My time is short. <laughs> oh, my husband. Don't talk like this. Don't talk like this, eh? Nothing will happen to you. Tomorrow morning, we'll go to the hospital. Let me rest. Let me rest. I'm tired. I'm very tired. Suddenly 
you become dumb? Or do I look like a fool that you can ignore? Eh? What is it again this evening, chica? Who stole vegetable from my garden this morning? I'm talking to you, my friend. Did they send you to me this evening, chica? Huh? Answer my question before I tear you into pieces. Chica, I did not pluck your vegetable. Then where did I go into your garden? So please, if you don't mind, leave me alone. Let me cook for my sick husband. You did not steal my vegetable. Who did? Eh? Where did you get this one from? It's only your husband and my husband that live in this compound. So if he stole you, it must be your thieving daughter. Or have spirits started there walking around and plugging vegetables from people's gardens. I'm sure something is wrong with you this evening. So, you call me a mad woman. You call me a mad woman. Eh? I will show you madness today. May God forgive. May God forgive. Forgive me. Eh? So, I am now a sinner. You call me a sinner now. I pity you, Chica. I pity you. Because you don't know God. That is why he has decided to close your womb. Tell him that 
that I am grateful for everything. And that God will reward him abundantly for his kindness. You will tell him yourself, Nai. You will tell him yourself. Yes, Papa. Don't cry again. Yeah? God is taking care of everything. Yeah? Don't be moved about everything that happens. Yeah? Yeah? Don't be. I will always be there for you. making all the noise. Didn't you know that he will eventually die? It is late. There is nothing anybody can do until tomorrow morning. So tell your mother to cover him up. Tomorrow morning, we see what we shall do. Eh? can be obtained from these areas. Yet he chose to hang this problem around my neck. Hey! Um, dead. Why? Just look at it. Look at his poor widow and her little daughter. They have become the burden I have to bear in these austere times. Oh. But not to worry. 
I have broad shoulders. We can cope somehow. By you God's cope, grace. You will cope, my brother. God's what grace. else can we do? What else can I do? When you talk, they don't listen at all. What business did the Barisus have climbing palm trees? Hey. What? When I asked him, he said he wanted to raise money to pay his daughter's school fees. Eh? If I in Nana was the poorest church rat, couldn't I have been able to raise the money to pay my niece's school fees? Couldn't I? Couldn't I? Couldn't I? And how much was this school fee? A paltry five thousand naira. Tell me what. So, it was because of five thousand naira the virus is died. Eh? Because of five thousand naira, huh? If I didn't have the money, could I have gone to you, my biggest friend, to raise the money? <laughs> How much did we spend eventually to save his life? Over a hundred thousand naira. <laughs> Only God knows how much we are going to spend to bury him. Because of five thousand. Well, my brother, help yourself. Help yourself. Help yourself. The dead are there. What is left for us, the living, to sort out ourselves. Hey, Dika na. Take heart. It will be all right. Hmm? Life throws all kinds of things at us. It will continue to live until we are put into the ground. <laughs> Take heart. I know you are going to be spending a lot of money. If Aristus was not a child, he will be buried. Hmm? Take this. We all will make sure our brother is buried properly. Hmm? Thank you, dear. Thank you. I went to her back. I'm just coming in. Let me go and take my bath and take my clothes. Hmm? I'll be right back. Hmm. Huh? Check out. Melo, you're here. My brother, when water fills the mouth of a toad, what else will you do? What grow? Death is really a He cannot stay in that mortuary longer than the day after tomorrow. The earlier he's buried, the better for everybody. Yes, it's true. Ibe, what you said is very correct. There are so many things to do, so much preparation to be made, and it all boils down to money. Um, <clears throat> Angoleka. Yeah. How much money do you have in hand? It is only 3,000 naira. That day Melu gave my husband to pay Chizoba's school fees. And the 5,000 naira that day Benjamin gave me. Is that can do nothing. It cannot even buy a coffin. Mm. Angoli, hold on. Hold on. It is your husband that we are planning how to bury. If what you want to do is to hide all the money given you, who do you think will bring money to bury your husband? Ha! Huh. Hey, Nana. I have no 
not kept any money back. It is what I have received that I have told you. Apart from De Benjamin, nobody else has given me any money. Lie. It is lie. You see what I have been hammering on? It is grief that is killing this family. So you want to keep all the money kind-hearted people gave you for this purpose? It is greed and stupidity that killed your husband. Yeah, hey, Nana. Evaristus might have been my husband. But he was also your brother. Yes. Mm -hmm. The responsibility of burying him is collective. Thank, Thank you. you. Did I hear you use your mouth to say something? Did I hear you insult me now? I huh? have not insulted you in any way. All I am saying is that I am only but a woman. And a greedy one at that. Yes, a greedy woman. How are we sure it was not money to satisfy your desires that my brother went looking for when he died? Oh, oh my God. Hey, how could you say such a thing? Look, calm down, uh, Nana. This is no time to talk like that. No, Ibe, Angoli should be told the truth. She must be told the truth. Maybe if I had talked earlier, my brother would still be alive today. Then, Nana, it is you who should be told the truth. When Evaristus was sick, I came to you. I asked you for money to take him to the hospital. Uh -huh. You refused. Hey. I begged you. Hey. You said it was not your problem. We should leave him at home. Hey. Oh my God. You were the one who killed him. Hey! Hey! Did you hear this woman? Did you hear this bastard? Eh? That I did what? That I killed my... No, 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 what do you think you are doing? Everest's body is right there in the mortuary. Hey! And every second he spends there is money for us mm -hmm. to pay. Thank mm -hmm. you. And right. both of you shamelessly are fighting. What stupidness. What foolishness. Um, I think what you have to do is to find out how much money the whole thing will cost mm -hmm. and how to raise the money. Yeah, correct. Okay. okay. Is it okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, elders. I think I'm big enough to bury my brother. Let me be told how much it will cost. I can foot the bill. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's the list that was drawn up this afternoon. Well, the total amount is 44,000 naira. Excluding the boot I have to buy for the elders. Uh, you should raise that money in two days' time. Day, you said they should prepare the list, so that you will foot the bill yourself. <laughs> Anguleka, you are a fool. I will only do what I will have to do, and that's to buy a bull for the elders. You and your daughter should go and look for that money. But, Dave, where do you expect me to get 44,000 naira from in two days in this village? How does that happen to be my problem? If you can't bury your husband, then bring his corpse. Let's go and throw into the evil forest. That will make you happy, eh, Dave, Nana? Eh, Shut that your mouth up. Just take those leaves of yours and hide them under your buttocks. Amaleka, go and look for the money. There is no way I can raise the money in two days. And there is nobody I can borrow the money from. But if you give me permission to sell the piece of land where we farm, eh? I can raise the money. To sell what? <laughs> My father's piece of land? To do what? Bury a very suit. <laughs> Madness must have entered your liver. If you're looking for something to sell, why don't go and sell your daughter to somebody who will marry her? She is of marriageable age! Hi. Now, get up! 
Get out of my house! Get out! Get out! Get out. Look at this bastard! To sell my father's piece of land to bury a vegetable! A vegetable! Evaristus, why? Why did you have to die now? Why did you have us go through this? Eh? Mama. Mama. I want to ask you something. What is it, my daughter? Is there Nana? Papa's brother. Why do you ask such a question? If then Nana's Papa's brother, why is he treating us like this? just died and he has not been buried and you're walking around. It has never been heard of before. Dear, what will I do now? If I sit down in the house, who will bury my husband? What do you mean? Sit down. Dear, that is why I have come. My husband's burial would cost us almost 50,000 naira. Yes. I thought Nana said that he would bear the cost of the whole burial himself. Hmm. That was what he told the elders. He later called me in the night and told me that I should go and look for the money myself and that the only one he would do would be to give the elders their bull. You are not serious. They, tell me, where will I get that kind of money from before tomorrow? Hey! How could Nana do such a thing? He said that if I do not look for the money myself, he would be content to stand by and watch them throw Evaristus into the evil forest. Hey! Nana has gone mad. Nana has gone absolutely insane. Wait for me. Come, 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 come. Follow me, follow me. Come. You know? Trouble is like rain. It doesn't just fall. It breaks off like a storm. I went to my bank in Abba yesterday to withdraw money for expenses for his burial. You know what they told me? What? That there was no money. That they had not got money from their headquarters in Lagos. And I imagined how bad the country has become. How can you put money in a bank and you can't get it? How do we meet up with the burial expenses? That is what I'm about to ask you now. How are you going to get about it? <sighs> if I tell you I'm not confused, I'm a liar. And word has gone out that the burial is tomorrow. What do you do? Tomorrow? Uh, no. Has something gone wrong with your senses? What's your problem? I am asking if something has gone out of your senses. How can you allow a woman whose husband just died to be roaming around the village? How? What is your business here, man? Are you Evaristus, one, Mama? My name is not Evaristus. Uh -huh. He is your brother and my friend. Oh. How can you send the wife of your late brother to go out and beg for money for the burial of her husband. How? Melo, if you don't get out of this compound this moment, I'm going to show you you can't use my name to play a trick. Don't ever try it. You! You, Angelica! Instead of sitting back here, in the house, you roam about with your widow's buttocks to spread false rumors. Angelica, I will show you didn't use your hard luck to kill your husband. Oh, no. Did I send you to, to, to go and uh, beg money from people? Did I, did, did, I, did I do that? 
Eh? If I don't have money, I know where to get the money from. Nana, I don't know what you are playing at, but whatever it is, it's an abomination. And you will have a reward for all your actions. Uh. Come. If it is in a hell hole, we will find the money to bury your husband, okay? Hey, you! Come back here. Come back. If you get out of this compound, I won't allow you to come for the burial of your husband. I won't. Then, Nana, I have kept quiet out of respect for you and the elder. Which respect? But since it has reached this point, I will talk. Talk what? Last night, you told me that I should go and look for the money myself. Hey. Even the ones that people have given me, you have taken. Who to whom? Whatever else you want, tell me. But you should not worry about the money. If it is the last thing I do, I will look for it myself. Ah, uh, but stay. And I will bury my husband. Okay, but don't go out from here. I will leave. Don't get out from here. I will come back. I will leave now. Hey! I have brought this to you because you are like the father everybody sees in this family. I was told that the burial cost would amount to 44,000 naira. This is the money. I am a woman and I know that I am not in a position to handle any matter concerning my husband's burial. That is why I brought this. Where do you bring this from? I will not let that concern you, Dave. It is my husband that is dead. I will find a way to do the things I must do. Does Nana know about this? Not yet. But I believe you will give him the money. Yes. It is his responsibility to bury his brother. in heaven I know that we have prayed to you much and I know that I do not know how to pray but I have been told that you are a God that answers the prayers of your people I know that you will not keep quiet to see all this injustice and wickedness that is being visited on us by Dendana and his family if like I have been told that you are a father to the fatherless and a husband to the widow. It is time to fight for your children. Where is that thing that calls herself Amuleka? Huh? Where is she? Amuleka, you think you can perpetrate wickedness and then come back here and kneel down and pray to God and he will answer you. Huh? Eh? Huh? Hey, Nana, what is the matter again? Can we not stay in peace in this house again? Be what? Peace? Hey, hey, hey. That's a word you will never know the meaning of in your life. You think you're a strong woman. You went and slept with Melo, a woman whose husband is not yet buried. Huh? Then you went and slept with another man. And you come back, flaunting the money he gave you in our face. Oh. You find it offensive that I raise the money for my husband's burial. You find it offensive that Evaristus' body will not be allowed to rot on the surface of the earth. Only God and those who care for the plight of the widow know how I raise that money. But if it will do you any good, I will gladly sleep with the whole of Uwebe. Hey! If it will afford me the opportunity to bury my husband like the man he is, huh? which unfortunately you will never be. Get out of my house! Let me tell you, the only thing that is still keeping you in this compound is the simple reason that Evaristus has not been buried. Once he is buried, I will tell you, this compound will never accommodate two of us. We shall see. Get out! We shall see! <laughs> it is okay, Jesus, but get up, get up. not worth it. He is not worth it. <laughs> An animal like Nana is not worth crying over. Be strong. You have to be strong for the burial tomorrow. Eh? Come. Oh. 
Where is your mother? my biggest problem now. She has refused to eat since they buried her father yesterday. Thank you. I like to let brother travel home in style. Oh, Ben, what other great honor can one accord the dead if not giving it a befitting burial? Thank you, my brother. Mm -hmm. God bless you. <laughs> uh, yes. I pray that his widow and daughter will be able to bear the sad loss. Uh, well, they don't have any choice. They don't have a choice. Or do they? The only 20,000 that I gave them was all that I had on me. Okay. Huh? I will see what next I can do to help when I reach Lagos tomorrow. Right. Huh? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, my you. dear. Um, I wish you a very safe drive back to Lagos. Thank you. And beware of Lagos enjoyment. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I can bet. The lion himself. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. We'll yeah. see you now. Bye-bye. Benji just left after giving us this money. Let me see. Your locket is complete. If one couple had missed, you would have regretted the day you got married into this family. Idiot. Mama, why is Oku doing all this? Remember what I told you, my daughter. One does not dialogue with a cow. Simply because one wants to eat meat. Hmm? Anika! What did you say? What did you say? I repeat you. Because you seem to forget that one who doesn't listen to the voice of thunder! 
will be sought in vain. Woman, beware! Beware! An abomination has been committed. And if we do nothing about it, this family will fall into the hands of the gods. Hmm? No, no. What exactly did you say happened? Everestus' wife, that woman who killed my brother because of her halotry, went and slept with Mel so she could raise money for my late brother's burial. No, no. What are you talking about? That money she gave you, where do you think it came from? Nana, what are you trying to say? This woman is money. Mm -hmm. I did not hide my mouth under my armpit when I said it. Let me tell you, both of them had been doing it even before my brother died. Yes. In fact, they conspired to kill him. Nana, are you sure of what you are saying? Can you prove this thing? I don't need to prove anything. The gods themselves would prove it. Let us wear... She had nothing to do with the mellow. In fact, let both of them swear. Hey, this woman will bring ruin on this family. And I tell you, if she is not made to swear that oath, then strange deaths will visit this family. The best, now, the best thing to do is to report both of them to the Council of Elders. Yes. Whatever they recommend, we will follow. And Bravo. whatever they are going to recommend, then they may fast about it. Because I can't continue to harbor this woman in my house. Not anymore. No. Go, go, go. Thank you, We are in trouble. Chineke. Aleka. Where did you get these cassava tubers from? From the farm. Which farm? How many farms do I have? Wait a minute. So you don't stay your feet and enter the piece of land I specifically ordered you not to enter. Eh? No. Aulika! Nein. I said, let me wait for you to come out before I say anything. Let it not be that Chica has said another one. I saw her. Only I'm asking you a question. Why did you enter a land that is bad from entering? Eh? Then, Nana, I do not have any strength for another quarrel today. My daughter and I are starving. Ah. We also need to pay off the debt we incurred during my husband's burial. If I run to you, you will not give me the money. Uh -huh. So please, allow me. Let me make the money the way I know how. Okay. So the way you know how to make money is to have a piece of land that doesn't belong to you? Is it? All right. Wait for me. You will see. Just wait. What do you want me to do? That farm is the only thing my husband left us. That is what I am going to use to feed my daughter until we can get something to do. The cassava I have said was for me to use to start paying off the money I borrowed for my husband's burial. And if I knew what I've just found out now, I would not have touched that money you brought. Nay, what do you mean? I have reported to the Council of Elders. Reported what to the Council of Elders? You went and slept with Melo to raise that money you brought. You gave me money that was tinted with abomination. Nay, what did you say? That is what we found out. When the time comes, both you and Melo will be called out to swear. And you know the consequences of that. Dave, if it isn't Nana that has reported this falsehood to you, then you should not take it serious. But if you do, I tell you today that all of you are making a big mistake. My hands are innocent of that accusation. And I'm not going to sweat any oath. It is in your hands. You know the consequences of gracing another man's bed while the corpse of your husband is still lying fresh on the surface. If you refuse to swear an oath, 
you know the result. The consequences will be outright banishment. I have heard you, Dee. I have heard you. I just pray that all this will not lead to disaster in this family. But let me just ask you one question. What if I have not done the things I have been accused of? I greet you all. No. 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 It is something that has made a toad come out from its hole this day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nana came to me to say that Melu has been committing adultery with his brother's wife. Bam! Yeah, yeah. As if that is not enough. He also had carnal knowledge of her even when the brother's body had not seen the insides of the earth. Oh. Mm. Mm. We all know that it's an abominable act. But we cannot do anything until the community has been informed. That is what we have done this day. So that you can also hear what we have heard. It is said that one who listens to the elders is like one who goes to the diviners. I salute you all. I greet you elders. The accusation we have heard is a grave one. Very grave. And if that is true, then the land would have to be cleansed mm -hmm. and the gods are pissed. Yes. But we must hear from Melo before anything else. Yeah, Elders, if I knew that what you people called me out here today is to listen to the rantings of a madman, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been here. And since I am here, Nana, I pray that the ghosts of the land... The ghosts of the land have nothing to do with this. When he went to meet the wife of Evaristus, Melo, it was you who sent him to go and harvest palm trees on a wet day so you could have free access to that woman. That same woman you asked to go about begging for money to bury her husband, your own brother, that Nana, same woman, that a woman same... in money. And that same woman he chose to ravish, even in her morning clothes, Melo, Imelo Lane, Imelalo, you will swear. <laughs> I will do no such thing. <laughs> what I did was to assist Angolika to secure a loan to bury her husband. And I will still do it all over again. <laughs> if what you people have gathered here today is to condemn me because I helped a widow. I will accept the condemnation. And I pray that the gods of the land will forgive all of you. Hey. Hey. I do. Yeah? Come, come back here. Come back here. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. That confess is due. You will swear. You stand to swear. Yes. You must swear. We, 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 we don't help her. Hey. We don't help her. Loan secure her. I am not in any mood for your greeting now. By the way, you are supposed to have returned my money yesterday. Dear, please don't be angry. I wanted to come and see you tomorrow morning. Mm. We have not sold the piece of land that we are supposed to sell and pay the money. Upe, that is why I find it very difficult to help people. When Umelu brought you to me, I would have refused to lend you that money. Huh? Now, you hear a language. I have complained to your brother in law and he said you don't have a piece of land to sell. Well, that is not my business. How you're going to do it, I don't know. But all I know is that I must get my money on or before Wednesday. Otherwise, I will come here and sell everything you have, including broom, to recover my money. That is if they want it. I finished with you. No, thank you. Keep, keep, keep going. Oh, 
are we going to do? I don't know, my daughter. Where is my money? Which money? The one I gave that woman uh, called uh, uh, Angoleka. Oh, oh. Angoleka the widow? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Please, yes. Sit down. Hey, sit down. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, no. Can you imagine that woman told me she must sell her piece of land first before she pays me that money? Huh? Okuchuko, please have patience with her. She will definitely pay you that money when she sells the land. Which land? Which land? Look, that woman is a crook. I met her brother-in-law yesterday who told me she does not have even a piece of land to sell. Yeah? Melu, you brought her to me. You are her witness. You must pay me that money. Okuchuko, do you know that her brother-in-law collected all the money people gave to her during and after the burial? Do you know? What's my business? What's my business? Am I the one that killed her husband? All I want is my money. Okuchuko, if people see the way you are talking to me, they will feel that we are quarreling. We are not quarreling. We are not quarreling. Uh, but if you say we are quarreling, it is all right. It is all right. All I want is my money. Please, pay me. Okuchuko, you insult me. Why won't you call it an insult? Eh? After all, you don't have a wife and family you take care of. Eh? Why are you reminding me of my late wife? Why? Why are you put your Then, man. I know that your wife died many years ago. And I only know that you are surviving some who lives in Abidjan and sends money to you regularly. Eh? Am I lying? No. <laughs> I am happy you know that I have a, a son abroad. Eh? Just cool down. If Amoleka does not pay you by next week, I will pay you. Hmm? <laughs> hey, I've heard you. I've heard you. Um, please try. I want to complete the roofing of that my new building before going back to Calabar to continue my printing business. Eh? <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> of elders have banished you from this land. Uh, by tomorrow morning, some young men will come here and throw you and your daughter out of this place. By that same tomorrow morning, you will be a forgotten memory. But I am the only person who can stop that action. And I'm willing to take that action if only you can agree to my proposal. What is your proposal? Uh, you see, there is no need for you and I to live in bitterness and hatred. Why? Eh? Your husband is dead. And every woman needs a man to take care of her. And that is the responsibility I'm going to undertake. If only you can um, uh, satisfy my needs. <laughs> what needs, Tenana? Uh, uh, what 
does a woman do at night when the sun has gone down and she is in the romantic hands of a lover? I stay in the hands of God, Enana. And you know what you are? You are a pig. A despicable, rotten piece of rubbish. <laughs> uh, you may be right there. Uh, but what if this despicable piece of rubbish does not speak out tomorrow? You may be taken away forever from this land and I won't like it. After all that you have done, you want me, Aonlika, to sleep with you. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Boy, family, eh? I would rather sleep with the cops and allow you anywhere near my bedroom. Siot. Useless. Okay. If that is the way you want it. If it's the way you want it. Hey, Melo. What has happened again? Have I done anything wrong? If there's anything I have done wrong, somebody should tell me so that I know what to do. Maybe it would help if you told me what happened. Then Nana came to me last night to ask me to warm his bed. That it is the only condition in which he will tell the elders to call off the banishment. What did you just say that I did not hear well? What have we done to him? That has led to all this wickedness, eh? Sit down, Amine. There is something you must know. Sit down. It all started when your husband was born. As you already know, your father-in-law, Atoma, married two women. Though Nana's mother, Adugo, was the second, she had Nana first. Shortly after that, your mother-in-law, Ekweke, took him and delivered the boy. Nana's mother, Adugo, decided to remove your mother-in-law, when she realized that all that her husband had does not solely belong to her own child. Hey, my, my, if I can me a woman of this image, why the child she's carrying is not even yours? Eh? What did you just say? Ask her. Ask her who fathered Evaristus. It is only you in this village who does not know what she has done. Ekweke! Ekweke! Nina, did you call me? Who fathered Evaristus? Adugo, is it your handwork? Answer my question before anybody even takes your life. Who fathered Evaristus? Nina, you are my husband. Only you own Everestis. I do not know any other man. No. <laughs> no, it is a lie. Let her tell you the truth or swear an oath by Arusio. But stranger things were to happen before long. Shortly after Ekweke took that oath, Adugo died and Atoma was left with the little Nana to take care of. If you keep quiet, I think it will be better for both of us. After all, I'm not the one that killed your mother. <coughs> Papa, Papa, I'm hungry. You are what? I'm hungry. Can't, can't you think of something else? Eh? Can't you think of something else except food? You are hungry. But <clears> I'm <throat> hungry now. Everestus is eating. Shut up! Have... Don't you ever compare yourself with those people? They are outcasts. You understand? 
don't have anything to do with them. I'll get you something to eat. Well, come on. Mama, Nanya is hungry. Don't worry, your little head, my son. A day will come when he will share our food. But for now, don't give to them because they will not receive for you. Eat. Eva! Ma. Ma. Take care of the house. Mia, yeah? mm -hmm. I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. Yes, With that singular act of kindness, Evaristus, your husband, ignorantly carried on his shoulder that curse placed on Inanna's mother by his own mother. Since then, your family has not known any peace. Eventually, Inanna's lineage will die if that cause is not removed. By who? That I do not know the answer. There is still something that confuses me. If the family is under a cause of childlessness, how come Evaristus and I have a child? Maybe the gods wanted to compensate him because of his childhood ignorance. And finally, the land has been cleansed. Yes. You and your wickedness have been wiped away from our faces. You cannot stop us. Yes. The community has decided that what you committed is an abomination. Yes. And the punishment for that is banishment. Okay. Yes. The community does not put food on my table. Therefore, they cannot decide if I live my life right or wrong. I have not committed any abomination. 
And if you people do not turn around and leave this compound now, I will send some of you to your early graves. Mm. Mm. Melo is not in the mood for any jokes. Get out! <laughs> Then, Melo, we are not afraid of you at all. Yes. Yes. Don't worry. We will come back to you. We will be right back. Anolata. crawling around the village. Let me tell you, no one can steal the drum and beat it without being caught. <laughs> yes. no, no. I am a free born of Umwebe. Why should I crawl around? The rock that is in the middle of the sea cannot fear rain. Who is the rock? You. <laughs> Let me tell you, the walls have ears. So your son has so much money as to send and bribe the village youth and prevent you from being expelled after what you did with my sister-in-law. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Your sister-in-law is innocent and you know that. The villagers cannot harm me because they know you are evil. I did not bribe the youths. They only acted out of ignorance. How do you mean? Well, we should not bother to throw stones at a tree that has no fruit. Melo. So you are making fun of my wife's barrenness. You are the one making fun of your own failure. And Nana, if you love yourself, you have to confess your evil deeds so that Angoleka and her daughter can come home. What? Confess what? So long as they stay away, you will not have peace. You, do you have peace? Do you have peace? How can you be happy when your concubine has left you? <laughs> yes, he left you. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey. Very soon. I said very soon. We shall know between us who wanted to share his bed with Angolek. We shall know. Get lost, you hypocrite. Shame Get on lost. you, you barren goat. I said shame on you. He can boom boom. <laughs> he can boom boom boom. Yes. That is my son's money. <sighs> Peace at last. So, I can now have the whole of this. The whole of this to myself. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> oh, God. All this to myself. <laughs> Only bad eggs are gone. <laughs> Hey, God, 
this day is a blessed day for me. I, I thought I would not see you people again. Eh? Oh, my daughter. Hey, you are welcome. You are welcome. Come, 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 come. Come. Hey, woman. Hey, my daughter. Please, sit down, sit down, sit down. Eh? Hey, sit down. Go there and bring another seat. Bring another one. Eh? Hey, Holy. Hey, Hey. Hey. Where have you been? I thank God. I thank God. Oh. Hey. Hey. See? Hi. Hey. This is you. Hi, it is you. No. Oh. I know. Thank God for you. You are now a big girl. You have grown into a woman. Eh? Hey. So, how have you been? God has been very good to us. Yes. I can see. I can see. Chizoba has finished from the university. She is now working in uh, one of the big banks in Abuja. Is that so? Oh, Chizoba. Hi. I knew you would grow into somebody someday. And I have never ceased praying for you. Eh? Thank you very much, David. Eh? I knew it was the prayers that carried me through. Oh, thank God. Thank God. How have you been doing? Day. That is a story for another day. Eh? Why we have come is that um, Chizoba is about to get married. Eh? So we decided it was time to come home. Hey! God, thank you. Thank you, God. Hey! <laughs> How happy I am today. I wish my friend is alive to see this day with me. But I'm sure wherever he is, he is a happy man. Dave, please sit down. Day, no matter what has happened, Day Nana is still Chizoba's only surviving male relation. And she cannot get married unless Day Nana is informed. That is why we have come to appeal to you, so that we can see Day Nana. Considering the circumstances which we left under. You do not need anybody to accompany you. Nana is in no position to give his consent or disapproval. Hmm? I don't understand. And uh, uh, don't worry. We will go and you will see things yourself. Eh? Chi? Right. Uh, let, let's go. Hey! Mm. Hi! Cheese or back? Oh. oh, I thank God for you. People. We thank God. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. 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 What happened? 
the judgment of the gods is swift. Some say it is the punishment for what he did to you and I. But I have chosen not to think about it. He stays like this all day. Every day I come down here to help bring him out, clean him up, and feed him. Everybody in the village is waiting for his death. Hmm. What about you? She died a long time ago. Hey. A mysterious snake beat her in your cassava farm. Let's carry him into the car. Let's go. Ah, ah. Hey. Nana! Hey, Nana! Nana. 